knife giveaway what's going on guys it's six striker and welcome back to another video on the channel today we're actually going to be going over how to improve your csgo fps once again but this time i'm going to go into greater detail and this time i'm going to try my best to make sure you can get the best fps because the last time on my last video a lot of people said it didn't help a lot and some a lot of people did say as well it did help a lot but this time i'm going to show way more ways and better ways to improve your fps first and foremost smash the like button it'll be much appreciated and let's get right on with this video so the first thing i want to do is I want to go to my settings on CSGO and let's get the basics out of the way. If we go to our video settings, we just basically got to make sure we can play and run the game. So if we go to, if you want to play like I do, and I play on a 1920 by 1080 on widescreen 16 by 9, I'm we can just go and turn basically everything on low, literally. Uh, texture and de model detail, we take it turn it on low. Effect detail on low, global shadow on low, shader on low, multi-core rendering, I'll leave that on. You'll, you'll need to leave that on. Uh, basically, just turn both of these anti-aliasing modes off. Turn them to none and turn that to disable. You don't really need that. And and that's especially for low end PCs, you want to turn that off. Uh, texture filtering, turn that all the way down to the lowest it can go and leave vertical sync off because basically that'll limit your FPS and it can't go above 60. And I don't know if CSGO is good at just running consistently at 60 FPS. Turn motion blur disabled and leave the last one disabled. And th these should be the best settings you should have for your computer if you want to run with the best fps now if you want to you can also lower your resolution and your aspect ratio you can play widescreen by going down turning this down maybe seeing you have to guess and check and see what gives you more fps for my own computer i literally don't get any better better fps while doing this like even if i went all the way down to four by three and like the lowest it would go maybe that would give me more but like four by three and the highest resolution for that I would not get much more FPS than I already normally do by playing in 16 by nine. So th these are the settings to start out for this video. Skinport is a fast, smooth, and secure skin marketplace made in Germany where you can buy and sell your CSGO skins for real money. There's literally over 150,000 skins available for purchase right now. And the skins on Skinport are a lot cheaper like this Bowie knife compared to the Steam market. And buying skins has never been easier. You literally just have to click it, add it to the cart, and you can buy it without depositing. No hidden fees or anything, you get what you see. And if you're trying to sell your skins, there's a fee as low as 6% for items over $1,000 and private listings. And if you're selling skins, money will go straight to your bank via bank transfer. Skimport is literally the highest rated marketplace with a 4.9 out of 5 star rating on Trustpilot. Check out Skimport, link will be in the description and in the pinned comment. It's insane. So for this next step, you're gonna have to go out of CSGO and we're gonna go to Steam. So basically what we're gonna do is enter some commands for when you launch CSGO. So to go to this, you're gonna basically go to your library and then you'll find CSGO. Uh, right clicking go to properties and then I'll have the ability to click the set launch options and we're going to click that and then I already have it in here but I'm gonna go ahead and explain what it is basically what you're gonna do is copy and paste what I have in the description and you should be fine what really matters right here is your tick uh, basically your tick rate will be at 64 other people might say 128 but if you want to run the game with the best FPS I advise playing servers on 64 tick or just playing matchmaking because if you play 128 tick servers you'll You'll need a decently better computer just to run that decently so i advise playing just matchmaking because it's 64 tick and the reason why csgo hasn't put 128 tick servers is because most computers won't be able to run it what the average computer won't be able to run it but yeah what you'll notice though is i have it at 64 tick and i have uh my refresh rate on here basically this is what my monitor is it's 60 hertz instead of like all if you have a 144 hertz monitor put 144 hertz if you have anything higher put that but for me i have 60 so i'm gonna put that there the also the other part you want to make sure you get in here and make sure it'll be like this in the description so you can just copy and paste it if you want the same settings that i do is the threads part i think that was at the beginning i have four threads from my computer and how to figure out how many threads your computer has basically the easiest way is open up five File Explorer. So if I do this, File Explorer, and your computer will be, you'll say this PC, you'll go to Properties, and it popped up on the other screen, but this will pop up. And basically, you just look up what your processor is. Mine's an i5. You look that up and say how many threads does it have. And mine showed up as four. And you can look yours up and it'll tell you. And that's pretty much all you need to know. And your computer or CSGO will always start with this. These settings launch, so you won't have to mess with anything after you do that. So we're going to, after you hit enter all this, go ahead and hit OK. And you should be set for the next part of the video. Now, basically, I want to put something else out there. What you want to do is go to the search bar and hit percent app data percent 
and you'll go here and basically you just want to clear all this stuff you got a local after that and you'll find the temp folder and this is just a bunch of like crash files or just, and just files in general you can pretty much and this thing clogs up and you don't really realize how much is in there this is mine right now and i'm gonna go ahead and clear all of these folders just so i can get all of this useless stuff out of here because you don't need any of this so i'm gonna go ahead and delete all of it and there's some folders you won't be able to delete but you'll really you'll see how much data is in there right now uh, obviously not that much but for lower end computers it might matter it might make the difference just having useless stuff in there go ahead and do this for all skip a lot of stuff's going to the recycling bin so after you do that go ahead and empty all that out in your recycling bin don't leave that in there make sure you delete files or delete games you don't even use honestly because that can sit there and for lower end PCs and lower end laptops, that could be a huge reason why your game isn't running. I literally factory reset my whole PC and I was able to run my PC a lot or CSGO a lot better than what I am currently, which is kind of crazy. Now this next step is going to sound a little weird, but I made a video about this in the past, but literally when I, my computer is so weird that when I open Google Chrome and I open up CSGO, it actually lets CSGO run faster. It like it uses more memory because sometimes when I play CSGO, my memory leaks. I don't really know why. It's like my computer's not using the fullest of its ability to run CSGO, but by having Google Chrome open, like not running a video, but just having it on like the home page and playing CSGO, especially on 128 tick servers, like that very that helped me increase my FPS a lot. Uh, probably not gonna show it, but I will link to a video down in the description below because I'm that's where I'm talking about that, and it's kind of weird, and I'll show it there. But yeah, maybe try doing that. Otherwise, the, what I do recommend is closing out everything. Like right here on this arrow, you can see I have Discord open. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Uh, when you launch your computer, you I have like Face that comes up. I'll have like the, uh, the Epic Launcher that pops up, even though I don't use it at all or all the time, that pops up and that could slow your computer down when you're going to play CSGO and you don't even know it's open. Or in the background another thing I can recommend is just going into your task manager and just closing things that look like they're taking up a lot of stuff I um, that you might maybe not using maybe this like this uh, window Microsoft Windows search index or this X game bar you don't really need that so I'm gonna go ahead and close that like that that kind of stuff can slow your computer down while you're playing CS Another step you can do off CSGO is go into your search bar and you type in focus assist and basically when you go in here it, What it does is it pops up when you start playing games So turn off your notifications and stuff for that turn everything off just unclick everything So that doesn't mess you up or just pop up when you're trying to play CSGO All right So basically this next step is going to be in CSGO and basically what you want to do is you're gonna to go to Play and go to workshop maps and you're gonna visit workshops now that my steam showing I can show you you basically want to do is look up FPS benchmark on the workshop map and you'll see this map just subscribe to it and that way it'll pop up right here and you can go to the F benchmark map and we're gonna go into it right now so once you get into this map basically what it does is it will test your FPS and you can use these commands and play with them and you can even get info on them by shooting them and all you got to do basically is the recommended value and turn all of that down and you can what you'll do after that is you'll come over here and you'll take a test and it'll take you through different situations scenarios i'm going to do it but i'm going to speed up this clip so here is what it looks like when you're going through the benchmark test So that's what it looks like going through the FPS benchmark performance test and that basically tells you and I don't know I kind of get really booty FPS on it myself and anywhere from like 100 on just 100 to 60 uh, while I'm recording it actually went a lot it was like 40 so but like my PC's not the best so yeah to maximize your FPS and CSGO I mean all that's left really is to pick one map and the map that has the best 
FPS for you. So in the past, it used to be the old Dust 2, and you would get like that would work for every computer. But now that it's updated, it's kind of a little bit harder. I would recommend playing on Mirage and overpass like if you're still struggling to get any fps and you're on matchmaking if you play on mirage and overpass and that's it you'll probably get the best fps that way i mean after like i still lag on nuke i don't know why but like mirage and overpass i always get great fps and front o2 sometimes but mirage and overpass is always good maps to play on i can also recommend just upgrading your graphics card i mean sometimes you don't even understand or realize that your graphics card is out of date or needs to be upgraded install new drivers so you might want to do that and that could be a reason why your pc is lagging if everything else is failing you just probably should factory reset your computer and it'll delete all your files or whatever you have stored on your computer but in the end result once you restart it and start playing csgo again I mean, your game should run pretty good. And if you're still not able to run CSGO, I can only recommend buying a new PC. And maybe I can make a video saying, what is the bare minimum you need to play CSGO? I don't know really, to be honest, but my PC can barely do it. It can run other games fine. Like some games, like I can play Rainbow Six Siege at like 60 FPS half the time or plus. Like it doesn't lag like CSGO does. CSGO is just not optimized and just isn't the best game to run but it's really fun it's just a really old game which kind of sucks anyway that's all i got for today i hope you guys did enjoy this more in-depth video on how to improve your fps in csgo and if you guys did enjoy please drop a like down below and hit the subscribe button we're almost at 2,000 subscribers it'd mean a lot if we can hit that if you did learn something or it did help you please tell me so in the comments below and yeah that's about all i got thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one